Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn everything about VBA. And in today's video, we are going to learn about multi pages in user form. So till now we have learned how we can add a single page or how we can use frames or checkboxes and all the other objects in user form. Today we will see how we can create multiple pages inside user form coming up. Now, before moving on to our today's topic, if you are new on this channel and want to learn everything about VBA, we share something new on this channel about VBA every week. So consider subscribing. Coming up to my screen now, uh, as you can see, we have user form 11 here, uh, which is opened and we have page one and page two in this. Similarly, we can have a lot of other pages in this. There is no end limit. So we will see how we can create it in user form. So as always, uh, you need to open VBA editor by pressing Alt and F11. After that, click on insert and click on user form. Once you will get the user form, uh, define uh, predefined name will come here, right? And you can resize it from here as I've shown in my other videos and we will now see how we can add um, multiple pages user form right so just click on toolbox if you don't see any toolbox when you click on user form right so a small toolbox will come like this now in this uh, this is the option of multi page if you will hover around you would see the name is coming up in yellow box right so i'll just click on it and resize it or size it as per my requirement right so by default as you can see you will get two pages but you can add as many pages as you want so page three page four or any number of pages right you can also rename them so for example let's say i want to create this uh, inventory based on uh, product types right so let's say this is product a and this is a group of product B, right? So I can rename them accordingly. So for example, if you are selling multiple things uh, like grocery or uh, daily household items, so you can create uh, something like this for your inventory purpose or billing purpose, you can use this, right? Once you uh, have the number of pages you require, uh, you can now add whatever objects you require. So you can add anything here, uh, whatever we have discussed in user form till now, like uh, combo boxes or text boxes, labels, list boxes, check boxes, radio button. We can add anything in any of the page, right? So for example, I'll add this few text boxes. And then let's say I add this, right, a list box and then let's say i add this combo box in next page which is page product b right so once you have them uh, as whatever you require you can then program them by double clicking let's say if you want to assign any macro to checkbox here you can double click here and write whatever macro you want here right similarly if you want to assign some macro on any of these places you can do that right i'm not going to spend much time here on the how we can ob use these objects because everything else is uh, those things are covered in my earlier videos so if you haven't seen them yet uh, you can see it. i'll share the link somewhere at the top right so you can see those videos or i'll share it in the description also so this is how you can create list box or multiple pages and uh, add list box or whatever you require in it so that's it for today's video i hope you all found this video useful and you are now able to create user forms multiple pages if yes hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet thank you very much for watching share this with your friends and colleagues if you think this will be useful to them
आई विल सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक गुड बाय